Hey yo, what's going on guys? It is Sayo and I'm back once again with some of that hot Dragon Ball Sparking Zero content. And today we are going to join the discussion on that highly anticipated roster. With Battle Hour around the corner and a super high possibility of Dragon Ball news over Snake Way, I have been crafting a roster using Tenkaichi's 3's roster as a starting point and also as you see over to the left the confirmed characters thus far in dbsz so in this video we will be going through these characters speculating their possible parents and what i believe using baba's crystal ball which of the characters has the most potential to show up on that beautiful roster so be sure to smash that like button if you enjoy content just like this and be sure to follow me on my social media profiles located in the description box down below. Now that we got that out of the way, let's get into the roster, my guys. Let's start off with who we can 100% confirm for the base roster of Sparking Zero. All right, to start off, first on the list, as you all know and expect, you got Goku and you got his Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan form. It's nothing... This game ain't nothing without the poster boy and Goku will, for, will forever be in this game. So, my theory is we're going to see Goku from uh, Z all the way up into Dragon Ball Super where it stops at the Terminator Power. I know for a fact the Terminator Power is in the game. Just given of what we've seen in the trailer, I'm, I'm positive what we saw behind Jiren. Bergamo was definitely the Terminator power. They're they're holding that off. I believe we're going to see it in the next trailer that's soon to drop at Battle Hour. Who knows? We're all speculating here. Let's just continue. Um, I would definitely love to see more. Like, of course, we're going to see GT Goku. I feel like he's a staple as well. It doesn't make sense not to have him in, being, being that he is such old content. And I would actually hate it if they were to sell us him and i don't think there's a reason now from what i understand and heard i can't 100 percent confirm as of right now that the next you know anime of as as dragon ball the daima we're going to see content from that in this game as well so this game should last a very long time to support sounds like it's going to be there now, I'm skeptical about it because of previous things that I will be addressing in a whole nother video. I can't wait to put that together for you guys. It's going to be an interesting video. Um, but yeah, Goku, 100%. 100%. Ranging from Z to Super Terminal Power. Then, next up, you got on our confirmed 100% list, you got Vegeta in a Super Saiyan God form. Another one basically uh, the second poster child like you can throw him on the cover and it will sell copies of the game um same thing z to super terminal power era i would love to see more from super maybe who knows what they're trying to do with super i i think they should definitely come back and edit super i'm kind of salty that they're doing diamond instead but i digress uh up next we got Yamcha, Piccolo, of course, you know, part of the Z Warriors. Um, same around the same era. I'm not too sure about Yamcha. Yamcha seems like he stops around Z, like the end of Z. But it'll be cool to see his other costumes. Like if they were to put together packs where you, oh, if you want a skin of this character and sells it, uh, you know. Do what you must or put it as in the game too. Like, like it's even better as a consumer. I'd rather have that. But say you sell it down the line, then it is what it is. But I would love to see like different variations. Um, like Demon King Piccolo. Say if they, they don't put the actual Demon King Piccolo into the game as a standalone character. Piccolo getting that skin would be a, a whole great thing to add in. I'm, I'm here for that. Up next, we've seen Trunks, and Trunks is actually a, a special one, and I'm going to get into that in a second. And then you've seen Jaren, oh, not Jaren, sorry, Tien. We're getting ahead of ourselves. Tien as well. For Trunks, we've seen two versions of Trunks. We've seen a version of Trunks with the same battle armor made by Bulma back during the Android Saga that he wore and fought 
sell in. Now, from what it looks like, it was the shortcut. I'd prefer him to have. No, not shortcut, sorry. He had his Super Saiyan form with the ponytail in, and which was like one of his best looking, like, artwork ever I, I gotta know what if uh, I'm pretty sure Toriyama of course drew that <laughs> uh, but the other form of trunks we seen was Dragon Ball Super Trunks when he had the you know the blue jacket you know and the blue hair which a whole retcon thing it, you know exists so my, my theory on this is we're only going to have these two versions of trunks besides kid trunks it's impossible to avoid not having kid trunks Especially since I believe we're going to see the usual people we see in, in the base roster. And um, it's going to be interesting to see what they do. I don't believe we're going to see... If we do see the original version of Trunks, the Z version of Trunks with the sword, it may be a variation costume on the Dragon Ball Super Trunks. It seems like they're pitching it, pitching it to us like that. I don't know. We just got to see how they display it on the game's full roster when that drops. Hopefully, we get some news on that soon. Then up next, we have Jiren and Bergamo. Jiren and Bergamo, the first two Dragon Ball Super characters we've seen in that trailer, basically, besides Burly. Now, these are two wonderful additions especially Bergamo I'm more excited about Bergamo because it, it the things he could do on the show I'm interested to see how they do it in this game um, Bergamo is the stronger older brother who absorbs enemies attacks and in return makes itself stronger now this is an awesome addition to the game people have been killing to play with one of the trio of danger from universe 9 knowing that I'm curious to see how that they will be implemented inside the game because he grows in size as he takes more damage. We just need that sweet footage. I want to really see how that looks. I'm pretty sure they're going to honor how it's done in the anime. Usually Dragon Ball does good by the anime and, and as far as skills and what feats these people have. <laughs> so I can imagine it, it turned out well. It'll be a... Uh, huge window for like other characters that at, for as of right now i'm not too sure that they're going to be in the roster but if this character is allowed to grow in size then we're just going to say it now we're going to see great apes and again i would love to see like huge characters like herodagon giant lord slug you know the characters that kind of been missing for a while now you know but as of right now, Bergamo is a very interesting pick. We just got to wait and see. Hopefully they show that in the next trailer or we just going to have to wait till the game come out. But after that, we got Android 18, Broly, and his legendary Super Saiyan form or Rage form, I believe. That's what they call it for Super. I'm happy to see Broly, of course. Broly is a, always a fantastic addition. Um, I really hope and believe that they will. <laughs> have the original Broly in here it makes no sense to exclude him it makes zero sense you know he's a part of his history just as much as the newer version and there's no reason to you, you can sell both of them and make just as much profits if not even more um and then you got 18 uh the, the one we see here is from z i don't know if you can see like right here he, he, she's the version of Z, but she did participate in the Terminator Power, so maybe we'll get a version of that with some different moves or different feats or, or something. We'll we'll just have to see. Like, as everyone else, um, you got Cell, of course, Frieza, of course, and then you got Seventeen, Krillin, Boo. You got uh, the other version of Trunks, which I forgot that in earlier, and then you got Hercule. These are all the confirmed characters. These characters, of course, will be in the game. They usually are in, in these Dragon Ball games. I uh, won't spend too much time explaining. For every character you see here that were alive at some point, I believe we're going to get that, that final version of them. That's what that's the point of Tenkaichi. Now, if they hold out on us, then I feel like it's going to lose that impact it's supposed to have as a Tenkaichi continuation. You know, this is basically Tank IG Four. It's just it's renamed in the states as Sparking Zero, which is the original name over in Japan. So it's one name instead of 
two different names, two different covers they have to, you know, market and, and put out. But yeah, these are the confirmed characters, man. Oh, oh before I get into the next one, of course, we're going to see Golden Frieza. Uh, uh, of course, we probably will see Cell Max if Bergamo is going to transform into a giant form. We're going to see Cell Max. And it makes no sense not to. It, it depends on when. I'm pretty sure they're going to sell him because... Yes, he's animated, but he's such a newer character. They want to get get that merchandising money. So I'll get back into that once I get into my more theory crafted, you know, roster picks. But let's get into who I believe 100% will be on the roster. We're going to start off with the Z Warriors and Friends. Like I said, I've used the Extended Kaiji 3's roster as a starting point. I'm going to say this now. I'm a little not too sure about Kid Goku and his giant form but like i mentioned before bergamo he's a factor so if bergamo ends up in ends up in then we're going to potentially see k goku and the grade a form i'd say potentially both because they it both depends on where they want to take this do they want to focus on the future or have a more concentrated uh base roster on the pass and some selections that are in super but these two is the only ones down low like not too sure about and of course you got all the versions of goku here oh, i forgot yeah all the versions of goku you got gt goku his super saiyan 3 form which we haven't played with super saiyan 3 gt goku in some time of course super saiyan 4 goku one of the best designs ever created for dragon ball period you can debate me all you want we can we can go blow to blow on that if you disagree and krillin of course he was he's confirmed you got k gohan team gohan another staple He'll, you know you got piccolo I, I hope he transforms we haven't seen the version of him transform in some time so maybe if he doesn't transform to his uh, fusion with kami form then he'll potentially transform to his uh yellow form or his orange form which i believe will be DLC, that's, that's, I feel like, I feel strongly about that. Um, let me add back in Kid Goku, not Kid Goku, I'm gonna add back in grade eight form. Kid Goku, I'm gonna leave out for a second, just cause I believe that we're not gonna see them. I don't know why, I just feel like that, you know. For now, I'm gonna keep all the giant forms because nine times out of 10, I believe, I believe, I'm gonna see, I'm gonna go with my gut. I believe they're gonna be in there. I'm gonna go with, I'm gonna go with it now. Who exactly we we can you know bounce around on that one? Uh, so we got right now Z Warriors and friends. I'm not too sure about Supreme Kai and Kabito Kai, but I believe they should be in. I'm gonna go with they should be in. What do you guys think, man? I'm I'm a little little skeptical about having them, but I wouldn't be too mad if he wasn't like a playable character because it's not like. You see them fight too much, you know, like you don't see them fight. So for them to be in there, I feel like that'll be a waste of a roster spot. I, I, I want to say they're not in there. So let's let's go with that. Another pick where I don't know. It'd be cool to see him in here. <laughs> it actually would be fun because it goes back to like the nostalgia feeling feeling that the game's supposed to have would be Yajirobe. Personally, I wouldn't mind him not being on there because when the last time you played Rod, Yajirobe, for real like we haven't played yaja really forever so for him not be on there i wouldn't be upset about that yeah chaozu listen he don't love it chaozu staying man he's he's the word man he, he he sacrificed he sacrificed himself back during z that was like his best moment but yeah z warriors and friends these are the people i believe will be on the base roster next up we're gonna go with the villains here's all the villains that are going to be in there as you can see you got Nappa, ranging from Z all the way up to end of Z. You got all the villains from there. I won't necessarily say, I guess you could say King Vegeta is a villain, because he really like didn't care unless it was his his place where he lived. <laughs> anyway, so I'm not too sure about King Vegeta being a playable character. So for right now, I'm gonna leave him out. Let's see who else. I feel like <sighs> I'm a little. I'm not too sure about Raditz as of right now, as far as his grade eight form. I don't feel like they're going to redo models like they did in previous games. Because before it's accepted. Nowadays, it's 
it's weird to have reskins all the time. Like it, we get fed up with that. I don't think they deserve it's a singular roster spot. Actually, if I remember correctly, I haven't played Tenkaichi in some time. I should definitely do that. Um, but they, uh, I believe they were like all tied to one model. If I'm correct, and we're gonna have to just plug in that game and figure it out. Yeah, but out of all of them, these are the guys I believe will be there too. You know, so at least one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight spots so far that aren't, you know, a part of the the full roster for Sparking Zero. Let me scroll up a little bit. I don't even need that. I'll keep the title there, yo. Um, but yeah, as all the villains from the. the Tenkaichi 3 trailer, not trailer, Tenkaichi 3 trailer. Now, these are all the villains I think will be in the base roster for Sparking Zero. Now, let's go to the GT characters. The GT characters, interesting. Now, we got some GT characters on the base roster already. We got um, Goku, we got the, we actually don't have the version of Vegeta before he got absorbed. So, given what Xenoverse did, we may actually get a version of him before baby uh, you know took over his body it'd be interesting to see that i think they can get away with doing that now before it was no reason to because he never fought before obviously we got well as his base form obviously we got super saiyan 4 vegeta so it'd be interesting to see that edition um, we got super 17 of course we got nova shinron they're missing um ice shinron on this i'm missing them for some reason but <clears throat> I believe he will be there too. He, him and his brother were actually gave Goku a, a run for his money a little bit. And then you got Sen Shinran, which is the, what was it, the one star in his head? I forgot which, oh yeah, it was the one star in his, in his head. Then when he absorbed all the Shadow Dragons, Omega Shinran, definitely going to be in that base roster. It wouldn't make sense not to have him. That'd be like, that'd be bad in my opinion. Like we're so spoiled as Dragon Ball fans. So like not having characters would be like a slap in the face. Be a slap in the face, man. So and I'm excluding Dragon Ball characters mainly right now because it's just it don't seem like either they're going to be in or they're not. I, I don't I don't think they will. Um, let's go on to movie characters. Now this is where it gets interesting for me. Definitely seeing Bardock. I'm not too sure about you know Fasha or the um, other guy. I don't I don't think he was he in this game. I don't even remember right now. It's been some time since I spent away from the Tenkaichi 3, so. Well, for right now, we see Fasha here. I don't believe we will see her in any capacity, so I'm gonna leave her out. But I would love to see Garlic Jr., especially in his full, full power mode. That'd be crazy. Dr. Relo, yes, that would be hot. I, I wanna you know, fight against him with Baze Goku or something. I don't know if they're gonna do the power scaling like they did in previous games, but like, Listen, more than merrier. Like, have these movie characters in here. Now, this is an interesting one. You have Turles. We never seen him turn into his graded form, but for if they keep with themes, he may be in. He may not. It depends on what they do as far as content in the game. So for now, I say no. I think the less copycat character models we have, the better going forward. Like, we don't want copies, man. I I, I hate that. It's a cop out. There's no reason to do copies, man. Just you got too many characters now. Just keep keep the themes going. And his super Namekian form. Uh, I don't know if I don't remember all his move sets. His normal form. I believe he used a weapon more in that form. I don't. I don't recall. But either way, Lord Slug definitely. I think now is a staple in Dragon Ball games. I feel like him being in is weird not having him. Maybe Xenoverse that did this to me. Xenoverse made me. Think like Dags, Lord Slug. He's way more important than what he actually is. He got Selza. Then he got, uh, of course, Cooler. His four form, right? He has four forms, right? His four form and then his final form. Definitely would love to see Cooler make a return. All oh, and his uh, metal form. Then you got Super 17, Super not sub 17. Woo, Super 13, and in his base form. Uh, I feel like Xenoverse made him look a little bit better. So to have him in, would be, it'd be cool. I wouldn't be too hurt if later they sold him to us for some reason. I'm, I guess Xenoverse desensitized me towards that. He's not really popular in my mind, but him being in would be cool. Then you got 
listen, we need all three of these guys in here. All three. We need the base form of original Broly. We need a Super Saiyan form. Look at look look. I'm gonna zoom in. Look how fire. Look how fire that looked. Man, that model was crazy. Whoever drew that, I don't know who drew the original Broly, Broly but they got they need some credit on that. Like it's probably one of the most unique Super Saiyan designs. And, and this was Super Saiyan form. This is before he even dawned that neon green here, man. Like and got husky as hell. Like they, they need to have all three forms in here. I think it's would be amazing addition. It'll definitely be a callback to the original form, uh, original games. Definitely have them. Then uh, you have these space pirates, Bojack and crew. Uh, they don't have the other two, but having um, uh, I forgot her name. I'm about to look it up. <laughs> forgot her name. I'm sorry. Um, but definitely have them in here. And something Xenoverse did that bothered me is not having. Bojack's final form like it's strange to see his base form in but not his final form they they need to definitely have that in there it don't make sense not to and you got Janimba now if they're giant characters we can have the original Janimba then Super Janimba which would be fire uh you got PyCon everyone loves PyCon but I felt like if they leave him out then it wouldn't be that big of a loss he's definitely a, a amazing character his moveset's definitely crazy uh hey, 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 i don't know what do you guys think y'all want PyCon in do you not want them in it, would y'all rather pay from now or later it, it's up to y'all i'm i'm for either way you got tapion hodorugan Ooh, ooh, that'd be fire to have both of them in i don't know about tapion being in the base roster or hodorugan but if they are then i'll be fire we we need as many characters as possible we need as much content as possible i'm all for it then we can, you know, really enjoy it. Hey, bring us back to like, back when you, you know, we were kids playing this, man. Like, I'm around for, for that. Like, I can't believe it. <laughs> I never thought I'll see another Tenkaichi game. I ain't, I ain't gonna hold you. Now, on last, on the confirm list, you got all the Dragon Ball characters. Now, I have them hidden currently, but I will show them for the sake of explaining my theories on the Dragon Ball characters. I kind of, you know, hinted at it all the time. Now, these characters came demon king piccolo you know tambourine pilaf devil man general blue towel mercenary towel young pan i'm not, sorry young why did you say young pan young chi chi kid chi chi would be cool grandpa go on be cool but like we don't necessarily need them like we don't need dragon ball characters like that the only one that matters is goku in my opinion like he can stay right but the other ones i'd rather you use those spots for characters that are new and relevant i don't want to see dragon ball characters the scaling is it, like if if they do what they did in the original games and power scale the hell out of it then there's no point in having it it would be unplayable they're gonna be unplayable so i'd rather see more dragon ball super characters i'd rather see like you know fuse amasu or something there's no point adding them in all right now we can get into the last part of my video who are going to be the characters that are going to make it onto the final roster of dragon ball sparking zero now the characters i'm going to pull from mainly will be from the terminator power like i mentioned before i feel like the Terminator power map is already has already been shown in the game given you know what we've seen in the trailer and um, I'm gonna go around picking from the universes that participated and pick the characters who I believe will make it into the base game. First, starting off with universe two, as you can see on the left, uh, we got an interesting row of characters. You know, this is Ri and the gang. I think it would be interesting to see, you know, Ri Rianne and her two, two little, you know, friends of hers. But, you know, I'm not too sure about them too. You know, it'd be cool to have them, but, Rebian eventually they end up basically you know fighting and Rebian is more like an important character so I say Rebian will make it for sure now an uh, interesting one would be Jim what's his name uh Jim Zhu I can't say his name properly excuse me it'd be interesting to see him in the game because of uh, the little trouble Vegeta had to deal with him <laughs> I don't know if you guys remember during the turn of power It'd be interesting to see that, but out of everyone in Universe 2, those two, I feel like they're more likely ones to show up. Now onto Universe 3, 
this is another universe that wasn't too important they weren't important i think it was just like a ploy for them to fight like a a big enemy because eventually uh these these robots end up fusing together and, and made like a giant like enemy so I, I don't have a picture of that that guy but uh, if they were to do it, I feel like they would have that one character, not really these guys. I feel like they are not necessary. So for now, I'm, I'm going to leave Universe 3 blank. I'll have to revisit that roster, say, later on. That part of the roster later on. Um, now we have Universe 4. I felt like Universe 4 was a throwaway roster. I feel like it was just there mainly to be in the way because, you know, we had bigger fish to fry. At least... That's what was the case for Universe 7. Universe 7 had a bigger fish to fry, and, you know, they were just in the way. Seriously. So, I don't believe any of them will show up on our base roster. But if they do, I'll be, I'll honestly would be shocked. So, that's another row of people I don't believe will make it into the base game. Now, we get into Universe 6. This is a handful of people who are 100% will make it onto our roster. You got hit. Frost, Kaba, Khalifa, Kel. Now, out of those, uh, they're all definitely going to make it to the base roster. If they get sold as DLC, I'll be disappointed because we're already getting, you know, Bergamo. Like, if all characters Bergamo, if we're getting Bergamo, I, I want to get the Saiyans from Universe 6 as well. And Hit, especially Hit, should not be sold as DLC. He's basically a, a, a way to sell your game in, in the base form. So, I say keep him. Now, later on, I think that this guy here, the last one, this guy right here, Botamo. I feel like Botamo actually may end up in the game too, just because he's an interesting character. I feel like they want to bring in some more newer characters to up, up the power scaling with the game. We're not going to show Universe 7 too much because everyone here is on my roster as you see to the right so i won't put universe 7 there i just know you've seen frieza there so obviously golden frieza will be there um i don't have a picture of, of golden frieza but listen he's there okay there's no way they're gonna do final form frieza or 100 percent form frieza as his last form and not have golden frieza uh, i don't know about black frieza but golden frieza 100 percent will be there now next up we got universe 9 we already got Bergamo. Now, the only other characters I would say will show up for sure would be his other brothers. It'd be great to see them as well. But I won't, you know, hold my breath either for them. So, uh, I'll just leave Bergamo highlighted, even though I don't need to include him again. But Bergamo, I think, will be there for sure. As for Universe 10, another throwaway, like, they're... These guys were just throwaway characters in my huge opinion. Oh wait, wait, wait. Let me let me go back. I'm sorry. I'm I'm mistaken. I actually want to see the Namekians in there. I want to. I want a more variety, more Namekians, man. They actually gave Gohan and Piccolo a run for their money a little bit until they got serious. So let, let's see them in there. They they actually got some cool fight scenes in the show. So I would love to see them in the base game. Now let me get back to Universe Ten. Universe Ten. Throw away roster. Let's just not include. Let's not waste our time. No one, no one cares about those characters now. But let's. If you do, I'm sorry. I don't mean to poop on your your favorite character. But listen, it's bigger, better characters like these guys. You got Jaren the Gray, Topo, or Top, or and Dispo. You know, you got the Pride Troopers. Out of all of them, we just need we just need these three, man. Like let's be honest, these three, these three here. It's all you need. All you need, right? Do we have a difference of opinion here? I don't know. Let, let me know in the comment section down below. Out of everybody in the Tournament of Power, who do you think deserves to be on the base roster of Dragon Ball Sparking Zero? And if if you like what you see so far, hit that like button. This this is basically the roster I have so far. You know, who's going to be in the game? Oh, um, of course... I can't forget these guys. I didn't take the time. Let me actually, I'm gonna do it a live edit in front of you guys as we speak. Hold on. Let me let me show you what, uh, how we do this here. There's a couple of characters I didn't add in. It's three characters. I want you to take a wild guess. I'm not gonna have you guess. They're they are Goku Black, 
I want to see Goku Black. I want to see Super Saiyan Goku Black. And I want to see Rose Goku Black. We want all three of those forms. They're all were animated. They're all important characters, okay? And last but not least, I want Fuse Zamasu. Fuse Zamasu definitely needs to be in the game. So if you know Fuse Zamasu there, we're going to get, you know, Super Saiyan Blue, Vegito. Definitely getting Gogeta, Super Saiyan Blue, because Broly from Super uh, is there as well. So we're definitely seeing, we're seeing these important characters, no way. You know, there's no way that they're not going to include them in the base roster. I fully believe we're going to see them soon. So, hey, mark my words. I believe this is the true roster now. Certain people may not be in there. You know, we just got to see what direction they want to take, man. Because they, they, you know, with the Dragon Ball games, they tend to remove people for the sake of simplicity and you know not complicate things so we just gotta see man but for now this has been sayo let me know guys what you think of my my roster choices definitely need these characters here let me yeah there we go yep but yeah there here's where i'm gonna wrap up the video you guys let me know what you guys think of my choices for the roster of dragon ball spark and zero here's all the characters i want in here um what do you guys you know let me know it, we we got a long way to go i'm pretty sure i'm pretty sure we're going to probably get a date I'm, i believe now we're about to get a date some reason i i've have high hopes for this so i'll be on watch and i'll be here you know bring you guys that content as promised but for now this has been sayo be sure to like comment subscribe vision my socials like i mentioned before comment your favorite part of the video i'll holler at you guys peace